Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Trump's historic second impeachment. Nobody gets impeached more than me. And uh, what the case should be during the trial. Republicans are already going to try to frame it as another Democratic plot of some sort, feeding into that rhetoric that already exists. Democrats have made it clear that they want to get this over with. They don't want to spend a lot of time on it because they want to get to Biden's agenda because they feel that that's what's going to secure their reelection. Okay. So what's the case? It's two parts. First, they should argue that this wouldn't have happened without Trump. That he laid the groundwork for this by saying things like, get him out of here. I'll pay your legal bill, bills. Bump their head when you put them in the car. Don't be too gentle. Stand by. Stand down. That he set the tone for extra legal activity. That would be part of it. And that his rhetoric, well, they're trying to steal it. It's rigged, fraud, all of that. That that brought people to a point where they felt they had to act. And he's already set the tone for them to act in a manner outside of the law. So when he says fight, they're ready to. And then they go to the Capitol and they parrot his slogans. They use his rhetoric. They target his political opposition and they do what he wanted them to do. Then, when it's over, they admit that they feel duped by him and that they call on him for a pardon because, I mean, after all, they were just doing what he wanted them to. That's the case. And this whole time, pointing out that these behaviors violate his oath of office, that they are not in support of the Constitution, that they are, in fact, attempting to undermine it. That's the case that should be made. It's simple. It doesn't require a lot and most of it's on camera. That would be the case. And then we would all sit back and pretend to be surprised when a whole bunch of Republicans vote to acquit, despite that case being made, despite most of it being on film. Because, well, they're concerned about their political futures, which is funny to me, because at that point we have to question whether or not they take their oath of office seriously. And I am fairly convinced that the United States will in fact not vote Trump back into power in 2024. I don't think that's going to happen. So even if they acquit him, I'm not that concerned about that. But the reason they would acquit him is their own political future, which to me is funny. Because if he was convicted for a whole lot of people, that would be the end of it. That would be the end of it. They would feel that accountability had occurred and they would let it go. It would be a huge pacifier to a lot of people. However, if he's acquitted, I'd be willing to bet that those same people who would let it go would then turn their uh, attention to those who enabled him. Many of those in the House and Senate. And that they would try to hold them accountable because they did parrot his rhetoric. The same rhetoric that was parroted by those at the Capitol on the 6th, that they played a part in it. 
I mean, in a bizarre way, in order to secure their political futures, they have to act in a counterintuitive way. They have to convict Trump. I've got a feeling they won't. But that is their safest route for their own future. But I have a feeling they will put what they believe to be their own political interests over that of the country. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.